Stay out of the sun, drink water, wear sunscreen. We all know the basic rules for dealing with hot weather. And while following these rules are going to keep many of us safe, studies have shown that heat is in fact the deadliest of natural disasters, particularly for those who are more at risk. As heat waves get hotter and longer and more frequent due to the climate crisis, it's important to understand what exactly is happening to our bodies when temperatures soar. Sweat, or the absence of it, this can be a sign of a heat-related issue. Let me show you something here. When you get hot, there's a small region in your brain called the hypothalamus, right over here, that sends a message to your sweat glands to start the cooling process. That opens your pores and releases moisture, but that alone isn't enough to cool you down. Some of the sweat then needs to evaporate off your skin, releasing heat from your body into the air. This process becomes less effective though as humidity rises. Think about that feeling you get when coming out of a hot shower. You usually feel cooler as the water evaporates off your skin, unless you're in a hot or humid room, in which case it won't happen. Humidity also plays a role in why the same temperature could feel different depending on where you are in the world. To understand these sorts of heat stress conditions, scientists use a measurement that combines air temperature and humidity, and they call it the wet bulb temperature. As the wet bulb temperature approaches your body temperature, it's harder for you to sweat. So you'll start losing the ability to cool down as sweat will evaporate more slowly. Now, if you lose too much water or salt through excessive sweating, this can actually cause heat exhaustion. Look out for these symptoms. Also, try to cool your body down by moving to a cool place if possible or taking a cool shower. If symptoms get worse, like you start vomiting or confusion develops, you should seek medical attention. Heat exhaustion is often confused with heat stroke, but this is a much more serious condition. That's likely gonna occur when your core body temperature rises above 104 degrees and you're gonna need emergency medical care. A person might profusely sweat as you'd expect, or instead they could have hot, dry skin. They might also feel confused and have a rapid, strong pulse. That's because heat can also affect our heart, which needs to work harder to pump blood to the surface of the skin, helping with the cooling process. And when you sweat and lose fluids, the amount of blood circulating through your body, that also decreases. To compensate, your heart will beat faster, increasing your heart rate and your blood pressure. That's why people with pre-existing heart conditions, for example, need to be particularly careful during hot summer days. And everyone gotta watch their water intake. Because obviously the more you sweat, the more easily you can get dehydrated, sometimes without even realizing it. Key tip, drink before you're thirsty. And if you must be outside, drink fluids even before heading out. If you're working or exercising in the heat, you should know that you could be more at risk. So it's advised to drink at least one cup of water every 20 minutes. It's true that in time our bodies have the ability to acclimate by being repeatedly exposed to hot environments and that many healthy adults will be able to avoid some of these dangers that heat can pose. But knowing the signs and the science can help keep ourselves and each other safe.